No other royal documentary has captured the world's attention quite like this one, Debbie. Mm. William and Harry's tribute to the late Princess Diana finally aired on HBO last night, and it's our number one tracking story. Candid, emotional, and ultimately heartbreaking. The princess proved that monarchy aside, they were just two little boys who lost the most important woman in their lives. Here are William and Harry in their own words. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be her son and that I got to know her for 15 years that I did. You know, and like, of course, as a son, I would say this, she's you know, the best mum in the world. She smothered us with love, that's for sure. Yeah. A mother-son bond cut tragically short, but forever ingrained in their hearts. William and Harry give us a glimpse into Diana's cheeky sense of humor, sometimes at their expense. I genuinely think that she got satisfaction out of dressing myself and William up in the most bizarre outfits, normally matching. It was weird shorts and you know, like little sort of shiny shoes with the old clip on. And looking back at the photos, it just makes me laugh. I just think, how could you do that to us? She organized when I came home from school to have Cindy Crawford, Christy Turlington, and Naomi Campbell waiting at the top of the stairs. I was probably a 12 or 13 year old boy, and uh, I went bright red and sort of fumbled, and I think I pretty much fell down the stairs on the way up. That was a very funny memory that's lived with me forever about her loving and embarrassing and, and sort of, uh, you know, being, being the sort of uh, the joker. It seems Naomi also relished in that memory. She tweeted this documentary photo with the caption, quote, Thinking of Prince William and Prince Harry, a beautiful mother in and out. Diana, gone but not forgotten. But with the fond memories also come painful reflections of the way their mother was treated by the relentless press. Back then, 20 years ago, people would be utterly appalled if they knew exactly what went on. As a parent, could I ask you to respect my children's space? because I brought the children out here for a holiday right. and we'd really appreciate the space. Chased by 30 guys on motorbikes who block your path, who spit at you, who shout at you, and who react really badly to get a reaction from you um, and make a woman cry in public to get the photographs. I sadly remember most of the time that she ever cried about anything was to do with press intrusion. Ultimately, those limitless tactics would lead to her tragic death in Paris 20 years ago. At the time, William was 15 and Harry 12. They both regret how brief their last phone conversation was. The very last memory that I have is a, a phone call. And I think Harry and I were just in a desperate rush to, to say goodbye, you know, see you later, and we're gonna go off. And if I'd known now, obviously, what was gonna happen, I wouldn't have been so blase about it. It was her speaking from, from, from Paris and you know, she, I can't really necessarily remember what I said, but all I do remember is, is probably, you know, regretting for the rest of my life the, how short the phone call was. And if I'd known that that was the last time I was going to speak to my mother, the things that I would, the things I would have said to her.